The World Economic Forum has wrapped up in Davos for another year. One of the key discussions to emerge in 2015 was how business and government can contribute to overcoming inequality. Indonesia is hoping to play a key role in that discussion when it hosts this year's East Asia meeting of the WEF. The editor-in-chief of Globe Asia, Shweb Kagda, is in Davos and spoke to executive director of the Lippo Group, John Riadi, about the meeting. Uh, you know, we're living in some very interesting times, and the theme of this year's uh, Davos meeting is the new context, uh, which I think is very timely. I think we're living in a new context economically, politically, socially, technologically. Uh, so I think this new context requires a new approach to looking at the world, uh, both for the government, for the business community certainly, uh, and also for the other stakeholders here. Right. One of the key issues of, of, about this new context is really uh, closing the gender gap. Yeah. And I think there's impact on Indonesia, given that you know we have a large growing population and the entry of women into the workforce is very critical for Indonesia's long-term growth. As a you know, as a young leader, and of course you know, uh, as a major corporation in Indonesia, how do you think that will play uh, a role in your context and also in the larger context of the country? Uh, our world today is facing many inequalities. Uh, one of the inequalities uh, that 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 is pertinent is the issue of gender gap that you mentioned. Uh, this is a humongous challenge, and I think uh, in this you know 2015, uh, it's still amazing that if you take a look at the data whether it's the amount of women that sits, uh, sits on boards, whether it's access to education, access to healthcare, access to financial services, uh, the gender gap is way too large. Uh, and I think uh, in, this, in this very fragmented world that we live in, uh, a solution to this gender gap must come not only from the government, uh, but also from the civil society and also business. Uh, so, you know, as a business in, in, in Indonesia, uh, and by the way, Indonesia is actually quite, has done quite well relative to many other countries uh, around the world on the issue of gender gap. Uh, I think we have a role to play and we're going to reflect on this uh, and, 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 and uh, contribute to the progress. That's great. And of course, the other issue really is the huge uh, divide between the haves and the have-nots. There's been a lot of talk about the 1%, you know, having uh, ownership of 90% of the assets. How do you close that? Uh, th this, is a, this is probably one of the, one of the, the biggest uh, questions uh, that we must answer. Uh, Oxfam came out with a report saying the top 1% own more uh, than the other 99% of the world. Uh, I think this is unacceptable. Uh, and we're going to look back 100 years from now, look back at you know, 2015 and say, how could, have, could it, it have been? Uh, so I think there needs to be uh, a, a recalibration, a recalibration of what it means to be in business, uh, why we're in business, and 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 uh, you know how do we how do we create a sustainable um, sort of pathway uh, to economic growth and also corporate growth. Right, you know Indonesia, of course, uh, is very much in the limelight these days. It's a you know it's a dynamic democracy. It's one of the fastest growing economies in the world. Uh, it is fast rising and playing a bigger role on the global stage. Uh, how do you think Indonesia uh, can have a voice in this debate? Well, I think, you know, as you rightly point out, uh, Indonesia is a very important country. And I think it is very important because on all the global challenges that we face today, uh, we have a huge relevancy uh, and we have a lot to contribute. You know, you talk about democracy, you talk about the role of Islam in democracy, you talk about radical Islam, you talk about sustainability, the environment, biodiversity, you know, you go on and on and on. Uh, Indonesia has, uh, is, I think, at the crossroads of those challenges. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're, we're pleased uh, to be host uh, to the next uh, East Asia meeting of the World Economic Forum uh, April of this year. Right, and you're of course going to be the, one of the co-chairs of that forum. What are some of the issues uh, that will be raised on the agenda uh, in, in uh, Jakarta? Well, I think that, uh, you know, we're still finalizing the agenda, uh, but there are, uh, this, I think that the timing is excellent. You know, we're coming into this year, uh, there's a lot of volatility, a lot of questions, um, and like I mentioned before, because Indonesia has so much relevancy on all these different important issues, uh, I think all those things will, will come together uh, at, the East, uh, at the East Asia Summit in April. And of course, uh, I think there will be a, a quite a large uh, participation too from, from various countries around the world. Definitely. I think uh, all eyes are on Indonesia. Uh, the East Asia Summit will also coincide with the Asia-Africa meeting, the 60th anniversary of the uh, conference, uh, Conferencia Asia Africa. Uh, so we're going to have 109 heads of states uh, in addition to all the different stakeholders from around the region and around the world. Uh, so we're looking forward to a wonderful uh, meeting. Well, you've got your job cut out for you, but I wish you all the best and uh, good luck. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for Shad. joining us. Thank you.